Hey guys, it's Anthony Fontana. And in this video, we're gonna go over how and everything you gotta know to hire your kids and pay no taxes. Check it out. All right, we're gonna start with a few things that we gotta know before we go down this route and then how to get this done. First and foremost, in order to get this done, you have to have a business. If you're an employee, you work for a company, you can't hire your kids and get this deduction. So you need your own business. This business has to be set up as a sole proprietorship or a partnership where the parents are the only partners in the company. Got to have an EIN with this business, employer identification number. I do have a video on how to get one of those online. Pretty easy. If you're an S or a C Corp, this doesn't work. Well, kind of. There is a workaround to the S or C Corp, which I will go over towards the end of the video. So be sure to stick around for that. But again, got to have a business. You don't have a business, this is not going to work. Number two, they have to be your kids and under the age of 18 in order to pay no tax. This will avoid income tax so long that we pay them under the standard deduction for 2022 is $12,950. Social Security tax, Medicare tax, and federal unemployment tax. Number three, the kids actually have to work, okay? We need to document their responsibilities and the hours that they are working. And the work has to be age appropriate. You can't have a five-year-old preparing tax returns, right? But maybe we can have our five-year-old be as a model for our business that we advertise on our website and or our YouTube thumbnail. Other ways to document that they're actually working is to write out a contract with the responsibilities that they have, fill out a W-4, and an I-9. Other ideas for your kids to work is to, let's say, maybe clean the office. They can wash your company cars. They can do data entry, maybe transcribe some videos or help out with your uh, social media accounts. All right, number four is you gotta pay your kids fairly. You gotta pay them the same as if you were to hire anyone off the streets. You can't be paying them $12,000 work one day and that's it. No, we gotta pay them a fair wage. Here's a side note, when you hire your kids, you have to follow child labor laws. Department of Labor dictates these. I'll include a link in the description below, but essentially they go through, you know, what can children perform in terms of work, how long can they work, and how much you can pay them. All right, now that we got the nitty gritty details out of the way, how do we actually pay our kids? Well, first, you have to set up a bank account for your kids. You can't be paying yourself for wages that are supposed to go to your kids. It's gotta go to your kids' bank accounts. So go set one of those savings account up at the bank, first and foremost. Number two is you gotta run payroll. I highly suggest that you hire a payroll company like ADP, QuickBooks Online, Gusto, Paychex, any one of those payroll companies to run this payroll for you to pay your kid. Now, just as with any other payroll, your kid is going to receive a W-2 at the end of the year. So long that you paid them under the standard deduction and they didn't have any other income, there will be no filing requirement, at least with the feds. This might be different with each state. So be sure to check with your state on the filing requirements. But so long Again, with the feds, you pay them other, under the standard deduction. And for 2022, that's $12,950. And there's no other income. They do not even have a filing requirement, so you don't have to file a tax return for them. In a separate video, I do show exactly how to go on QuickBooks Online and set up the payroll for your kids to make sure that we are not having taxes taken out. So Security, Medicare, the FEDA Federal Unemployment Tax, and uh, Federal Income Tax, so long that we're paying under the standard deduction. All right, well, that's it. So long that you do those, um, then you can start paying your kid. Uh, make sure, again, you have all the documentation. You are recording how much time they're spending, what the responsibilities they have, and that you have that bank account. You're paying them through payroll to go uh, to get paid to the bank account. Then we're all set. So long you pay them under the standard deduction, they're paying no tax. It's a great deal. This might be a little more hassle than it's worth. It's really up to you to decide that. Uh, but this is this can be a potential great deal if, if this is something you're looking into. All right. So as I stated previously, if you're an S or a C Corp, we cannot avoid the tax when we pay our kids. So here's a quick rundown on the workaround to get this done. We set up a sole prop. The sole prop bills the C or S corp for services. And then the sole prop then pays the kid. And that's how this works. All right. The sole proprietorship is set up as a family management company that supports the operation of the corporation. 
We have to make sure that the family management company or the sole prop actually does bill the corporation. That family management company is managed and ran by one of the parents. And we have to maintain a schedule and document all of the child's work just in case this ever comes up an audit. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please hit that like button for me. Share this with anyone you think it might be helpful for. And if you want to see videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much.